Welcome to Linux Essentials covering your first 100 commands and today we'll demonstrate the test command. I'm Paul and here's the plan. First the command and why you need it. Second we'll play around in our terminal window and third we'll return for a quick tip and then we're done. Okay we know Linux is the backbone of the internet and is used by theoretical physicists and aerospace engineers. At Factorpad we use Linux for fun stuff like solving problems. So Linux is great, but it requires that you memorize commands just like words in a language. And our 93rd word or command to memorize is test from our category workflow. Test allows you to evaluate an expression. Recall from videos 87 to 92, we've been building a script to demonstrate workflow. And here we'll use test at the command line and return to programming a script in our next few videos. But before we start, it helps to think of commands as many programs and most follow this structure, command options and arguments. The test command has two options and the argument is an expression which is something to evaluate like is 10 greater than 9. Also note square brackets around the expression really does the same thing. Like most commands help is available with double dash. That is if you are using the test program that is not built into your shell. Okay, and then test evaluates strings, integers, and files and gives an extra status of zero for true and other integers if it's false, giving us program logic. So why is test an important command? Well, you need a way to interpret these conditions and now you know how to do that. Oh, a quick word on navigation. This button goes to the playlist. Back one video, forward one video, and click here for updates. Okay, the best way to embed this in your memory is by typing in your own terminal window. Find this on your Mac using a program called Terminal. On Linux, use Terminal or Console. And currently, Microsoft is adding this functionality to Windows. So here we go. And as with other built-ins, Type-A tells us whether we have multiple versions which can impact how you find help, for example, as mine did. And then a test of integers. We'll start with that and a test 10 equals 10. And looks like nothing happened. Well, actually it did, but we need to go get the exit status like this with echo, dollar sign, and question mark. And zero is for success, as I mentioned. Or we could do this in brackets. Um, is Joe equals Joe and the ag exit status here says true but Joe below equals Joe below and I'll give you a second here and Bash will yell at you if you don't surround it in quotes we know about that one and then on files using options that say test dash e for does it exist then the file name and let's say we go look for our dot bash rc file and the exit status here is true and last just for curiosity let's see how test interprets nothing false hmm interesting very good and as always exit closes the terminal window okay now you know how to use test and you know the syntax for commands options and arguments one last tip about the test command, so it's likely you'll see test used more often with brackets. But really, it is up to you. Okay, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was a helpful introduction to the test command.